the red-throated loon nests in the Arctic on the tundra lakes. Imagine if you want to see this loon in breeding plumage, you have to go to the tundra. But here on Paul Lake, we have the red-throated loon nesting and we can see its red throat. How wonderful is that? They normally have uh, two eggs, but they can't have up to three eggs at one uh, nesting. Here the loon is approaching the nest. You can see how difficult it is for her or him to get up onto the nest because their legs are so far back on their body. Uh, they have a di very difficult time uh, trying to walk. They winter on the west and east coast starting about October. This is the smallest of the loons. The only loon that can launch itself from land without a running start on water. They head north in April, except here on Paul Lake. Here, as far as I have seen, the only nest on floating logs, usually one that is easy to climb up onto and one that has some cover, such as grass growing on it or maybe spirea. If they nested on land close to water, it would usually would not work as the lake levels drop considerably. And as the film shows, they can barely walk, so the nest could end up quite away from the water. The nest is a slight depression on the log, some twigs and a bit of mud and wet plants. They will make a second nest if they lose the first babies or predators get the eggs or the young. There is mule gulls on the lake and they can take the eggs or babies. Also hawks, ravens, crows and raccoons and others, bullfrogs. They can have one to three olive or brown eggs. Incubation is 24 to 29 days, mainly by the female. The young leave soon after hatching and fly in about six weeks. Their food is fish, crustaceans, and insects. The back of the red throat is like star studded, hence the name stellata, which means star. On the maps showing the range of the red throat loon, you won't see any nesting range other than the Arctic, but here they are in Paul Lake. The red throat loon will dive in pursuit of food down to about 30 feet and usually not longer than one minute. Here this loon has just gone on to the eggs and uh, there he is turning the egg because they have to do that every time they come on to the nest. And uh, you can see how difficult it is for them to move around. Those legs are so far back on their body that they're really restricted to, to water and uh, a very short bit of land that they can walk on. Here is uh, both loons. The female is on the nest on that log. And on the left there is a male waiting to uh, change and uh, take his turn. Uh, the female does more uh, sitting on the eggs than the male, but they do take a turn once in a while, so uh, he does help out. Here he is uh, cautiously approaching the nest. It's the, his beautiful red throat. He's coming around now. You can see how difficult of a job he's having trying to get up there on that nest. In the wild, the oldest known red throated loon lived for more than two decades. It was found boiled and dead on the beach in Sweden 23 years and seven months after it had been banded. I hope you enjoyed this film. These loons are amazing. 
And here they are in Fall River, uh, British Columbia, nesting right here.